This episode of The Modern Rogue brought to you by the only people who matter in our lives, you. You. Our bosses. Well, some of them. Some of them are you. Some of you. Some of you The are rest of you need to go over to patreon.com slash modern rogue, sign up, become one of our bosses. You get to tell us what to do, and you get the smug satisfaction of knowing you're better than everybody else. And there's all sorts of bonus stuff that you get access to that no one else gets to see. Yeah, secret clubhouses, and also first pass edits. It's amazing. Patreon.com slash modern rogue. Help us stay in business, too. We buy forgot me, that Buy part. me shoes. And buy, buy him shoes. shoes. Yeah. yeah, I'm tired of this. <laughs> okay, okay. So when was the last time you saw one of these? Oh man, 1978. <laughs> I know! I yeah. was there on the Merv Griffin show. This is actually one of the recommended uh, methods of defending yourself from the Guide to Improvised Weaponry by U.S. Master Sergeant Terry Shepard and Adam Slutsky. This feels like it's somewhere between what we liked about the wallet and the eight ball. It, it, it feels like you're gonna get more leverage because you can swing, whereas the 8-ball, there's not much mass, although it was very hard and was able to dent this. This thing feels like you're gonna, what, come from the side and smash them in the head? Well, actually, they were saying it should come down like a hammer, like that. Okay. You know, you could get them in the shoulder, get them in the head. Okay. Bridge of the nose. The other thing I like is that it protects your, your fingers. The thing about the 8-ball oh, is if yeah. you come down, you're gonna break all your fingers mm -hmm. smashing them. Yeah. Whereas this, you have a good, solid grip and you're, you're protected. And in fact, if you had that knife, now all of a sudden I feel like I have an effective way oh, to, yeah. to, to get that, like if I, oh, oh. sorry, I actually, I had a, I, I, I thought you were attacking me for real. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Effective? Yeah, that hurt. Very effective. Had you really been swinging that? I would have dropped that knife. And I would have been protected the entire time too. So this has kind of our favorite thing about the wallet one, this might be the best of all worlds. I, I do worry about it being glass and, uh, and well, breaking. That's the thing, it might very well break. I mean, you get somebody in the skull yeah. with this pretty good, you brain them, they're going down. But it might very well break it, but then you've got sharp weapon. But you know, you <laughs> yeah, could also you cut your you hand. You can't even hold it. Yeah, you're slicing everything up. Again, go from behind the ear, the temple, or the back of the skull. You'll take them down. All, all of those knockout places. Yeah, exactly. You could also go for their fingers and hands, like you just did. This thing is heavy. Yeah, it's it's easily a pound and a half, two pounds. Picture a two pound dumbbell. Like that's gonna, that's gonna break some stuff. Let's see what kind of crushing power we get out of this. Now I'm getting a little bit of extra weight from the gauntlet in sure. the hand, but. Oh! <laughs> that thing is a beast. I think that might be the most powerful of the entire week. That weight, it just punishes. Right? <laughs> just pulverized it. Do you want to try it on this or are you yeah. worried about it shattering? I uh, know, let's give it a shot. All right. Okay, better or worse than the eight ball? Uh, much better than the eight ball. Really? Much better, yeah. The thing is though, God, that, thing, that, that shatters, thing shatters? That's bad news. You could seriously hurt yourself. So for this one, we recommend find a full set of plate armor, yeah. grab a gauntlet, Every, I mean, put on safety goggles and then yeah, look at that. You can see that sharp edge right there. Uh -huh. And that precise point of impact is gonna make a big difference. Now, one of the other methods that they recommend is a little bit ludicrous, but let's say you're coming at me and you're like, ah! Yeah. Ah! No. In no, the mouth. No, they don't. In, no, they that's don't. That's what they said. And yes. then play the Benny Hill music. Put it in the mouth. Da, 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 so, da. It, yeah. Ah! <laughs> And I, ah, you put it in the mouth. It's ah. like a Monty Python sketch. And then you, you uppercut them. No, no, 
No, in fact, I mean I, that would I, suck, right? Uh, you, you were doing really well on this one. <laughs> that's what it says. No, that's that's that's, what it that's says. worse than the two by four trip tripping them. This was light years ahead of the eight ball. Now yep. it's only barely ahead of the eight ball, just because of that <laughs> terrible, terrible idea. In the scale of how this ranks with all of them, what yeah. do you think? Oh, so it's got to be a uh, wallet, surprisingly effective, but the least uh, deadly, but most protective, I think, and that you'd be able to grab a knife. Then the eight ball, surprisingly powerful on the blunt impact. This one. Uh, counted as two or three eight balls, and then just for the reach, man, you're not gonna beat a two by four, you can't. right? You really like, can't. Like I'm out here, and your knife is not gonna yeah. bop, 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 bop. And another big drawback with this one. How often do you see these anymore? What would the modern day, I guess you would grab somebody's vape pen. Somebody's vape <laughs> and pen and smash them over the head with it. If you see one of these, you should probably get back into your time machine. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so as always, if anybody has comments, if they think that we got it wrong on our rankings, then hit us up in the comments. We read all that stuff, so be nice. How about that? Yeah. He's getting right over us. Oh God, don't shove me please. How amazing would that be? <laughs> It'd be awesome and terrible at the same time. And then there's another one like way up there. Thank you, patrons. Thanks. Are you guys rolling? Oh, you were rolling, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>